Your Excellency, uh, Mr. Pietro Grasso, President of Italian Senate, Your Excellency, Mr. Paolo Gentiloni, a Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Honorable Mr. Piero Fasino, uh, Mayor of Turin, Honorable Paolo, Ms. Paolo Basilone, Prefect of Turin, Honorable Mr. Sergio Chiamparino, uh, President of uh, Region of Piemont, uh, distinguished participants to uh, third world local economic uh, development and distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Buongiorno, uh, good morning. It's a great honor for me to participate in this last session of this very important uh, meeting. I know uh, we have many ministers, ambassadors, and senators, and business uh, co uh, CEOs. Uh, this is a very impressive gathering, and I thank you for your strong commitment and interest in working with the United Nations vision of sustainable development. As you know, three weeks ago, whole world's leaders came to the United Nations, including His Holiness Pope Francis. I was the most successful and largest gathering that I have ever experienced in my life as a Secretary General. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development lays out how we can end poverty and protect our planet Earth and achieve prosperity that lasts. We reached this historic landmark following broad consultations with the people around the world. At least we have reached through my survey world survey, asking them, what kind of a world do you want? These, this was the simple questions, reached out to at least 8.5 million people, government, business, and civil society, young people, girls, and group of vulnerable people. They presented their views, their wishes, and their aspirations, and all these were collected and negotiated among world leaders. After that, they have adopted 17 sustainable development goals, covering all spectrums of our life, social, economic, and environmental, and how we can protect even uh, our planet Earth. This will only be realized when countries and communities work together. We often hear about how the world is becoming more globalized. That is true. This whole world, from this end to the other corner of the world, is just one small world. It's instantly connected. At the same time, if we look at how we live, the vast majority of people still live their lives within 500 kilometer radius. There are, of course, many people like yourselves are traveling 10,000 miles or 20,000 miles a month, or even a few days, like myself. But most people live within 500 kilometer radius. The Milano, where I'm going now, and this city, Torino, I think. In a few, few years, uh, according to Mayor Fasino, will become one mega city. It takes just 41 minutes from here by a train. So it is just becoming one big city. So while we focus on global agreements, like SDGs, we have to realize that local environments are central to our success. That is the main essence, main importance of this meeting in Torino, one of the local cities. But I am just impressed that this local city has gathered so many people uh, today. That is why it is so important that these goal, global goals 
to be advanced in cities, regions, and territories. Local economic development raises living standards. It fosters social inclusion, and that contributes to stability and peace and prosperity. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, to ensure a life of dignity for all people, we need to ensure quality health services, a better education, gender equality, and other elements of a free and secure life. This is a difficult task. I understand the challenges. Too many girls suffer violence and abuse. Too many people are so hungry. They struggle to survive. Too many families are being driven from their homes by war, poverty, and other threats. You have seen tens of thousands of people fleeing war and persecutions. And this is what the European countries are now having trouble. This is a huge challenge, but this is not only European challenge. Uh, this is a global challenge to be shared collectively. Unemployment is at record levels, with more than 200 million people without jobs. Among them, 76 million young people, youth unemployment. Cities are especially under pressure. The growing gap between rich and poor people is naturally generating social tensions. People are also more vulnerable now to extreme weather events associated with climate change. These very grave concerns are at the top of the international agenda. Governments are responding, and so are local communities. I have seen creative solutions in communities around the world. I have stopped at health posts in small villages in Africa that are making a big difference for mothers and babies. There are not many hospitals, modern hospitals, but small local health posts. Even these things, they can give a huge sense of hope and saving lives. I have toured energy facilities offering low carbon solutions to developed countries. I have talked to girls in schools whose ed education gives them a better chance to shape their own uh, future. Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, the 2030 development agenda is a powerful and visionary, far-reaching document that is also practical. It outlines the specific steps to reach our goal of a life of dignity for all people. It calls for voluntary national reviews, including subnational reviews, peer reviews, and thematic reviews. This is where you come. I have three requests to all of you. First, encourage your local authorities to participate in these reviews. Second, gather information from your citizens. I'm asking mayors and governors and senators and ministers to reach out to the people. What are your aspirations? What are your concerns and challenges? And listen very sincerely to these concerns of people. And third, contribute to your national reviews. And I also have an invitation. We have made a lot of promises. There are many messages of hope, but these messages and decisions must be put into reality. We need to review. We must monitor. This is what the United Nations has established. High-level political forum will be the main mechanism to monitor the progress and implementation level of these sustainable development goals. Therefore, I am asking government leaders and business communities to come to the United Nations 
in July next year, when there will be a high-level political forum will be opened. Together, we can open a new future. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, people are often told to think globally and act locally. We have a global vision. This SDGs are global vision. But this can and must be done at local communities. As Minister Gentiloni just quoted what I have said yesterday, I have met all the world leaders during last General Assembly. I have told them that while you have adopted this one at the United Nations, this is now in your hands. Have a strong ownership. This is a, your SDGs. This is what United Nations is now promoting to our people around the world. Our ILO is working to promote jobs, especially green jobs, in countries around the world. The UNDP has projects to increase wealth and improve productivity, and even our emergency relief operations aim to empower local communities. There is no difference between local and global. Now I'm saying that global is local and local is global. We send in food aid from overseas if we have to, but we give priority to supporting local farmers and merchants whenever we can. Local action is also critical to the global response on climate change. I'm asking mayors and governors to lead by example. The presidents, prime ministers, they issue their vision through legislation or government uh, rules. But it is the mayors and governors, governors who have to practice and make this happen in our daily lives. In December, in Paris, leaders will gather for the United Nations Climate Change Summit meeting. Global warming affects the entire planet, and everyone can be part of this solution. I count on you to help turn the climate challenge into an opportunity for sustainable development. When we unlock local solutions, we will advance global progress. Ladies and gentlemen, let us work together for a better future for all, where everybody can live with human dignity, with a sense of hope and prosperity, with a dignity where nobody is left behind. Thank you for your leadership and commitment. And I'm very much encouraged by your strong commitment. Thank you very much. Grazie mille.